Nvidia has just started shipping its latest high-end workstation GPU based on the new Ada Lovelace architecture, the mighty RTX 6000 Ada. This new GPU is aimed at artists and architects creating complex models and renders, plus data scientists working on huge simulations. So we thought it would be interesting to test the new card and see how it performs in these sorts of workloads. Now before we do that, it's worth doing a quick recap of what we mean by a workstation GPU. These differ from gaming GPUs by having ECC memory protection, making them more reliable when performing huge renders or scientific simulations that can take hours or even days to complete. Workstation GPUs also have more memory too. The new 6000 Ada has a whopping 48 gigabytes, plus certified drivers for leading professional applications from the likes of Adobe, Autodesk and Assault, to name just a few. So let's get back to the 6000 Ada GPU itself. As already mentioned, it has bucket loads of RAM plus more than a few cores too. 18,176 CUDA cores, 568 Tensor cores and 142 RT cores to be precise, which is a staggering 69% more cores than the next card down the stack, the similarly named A6000. The 6000 ADA is also much better equipped for video workloads too, as it's got three encoders and three decoders, versus the A6000 having just one encoder and two decoders. Numbers aren't everything though, as not only does the new 6000 ADA have more cores, it's also based on a far faster and more advanced architecture. To see how much of a performance difference all these extra cores and new architecture make, we tested both GPUs in one of our award-winning 3XS Systems graphics workstations. Now, whilst all 3XS workstations are special, the system that the team have built for this video is an absolute beast, combining these incredibly powerful GPUs with a 64-core, 128-thread AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro CPU, 256GB of DDR4 ECC registered memory, and an 8 terabyte SSD array that performs at over 25 gigabytes per second. Now, the first application we tested both GPUs in was Chaos V-Ray, which is a dedicated rendering engine that supports leading modeling applications, including 3DS Max, Maya, SketchUp, Rhino, and Revit. Version 5 of the V-Ray benchmark runs in two modes, CUDA and RTX, the latter taking advantage of the GPU's RT cores. Now, what's immediately clear is that the new 6000 ADA is massively faster than the A6000, with between a 95 and 104% speed up at rendering. Of course, the 6000 ADA is a much more expensive GPU, but normally you don't see anywhere near the speed difference between two GPUs next to each other in the same product range. The next benchmark was the popular rendering engine Octane Render, which like V-Ray supports a huge range of modeling applications. The rendering speed difference was a little bit less in Octane than V-Ray, but 81% is still a huge difference, enabling you to complete projects far quicker using the new 6000 ADA GPU. And by popular demand, we've also added Blender to our benchmark suite, which renders in two modes, CUDA and Optics. The results output by Blender are different from the V-Ray and Octane render results as the graph shows the time to complete the render. So a lower result is better in this case. We measured a very healthy reduction in rendering time of between 45 and 54% in Blender. Finally, we also benchmarked the two GPUs against each other in Omniverse Enterprise. This is an NVIDIA platform that enables multiple workers to work together on complex scenes and simulations at the same time, increasing productivity. The test we use renders a warehouse with realistic physics simulating and rendering what would happen when some industrial shelving collapse. The results of this complex simulation were also very compelling for the 6000 ADA, with a far smoother frame rate of 41 FPS versus just 23 FPS from the A6000, a very welcome 78% speed increase. So there you have it, Nvidia's new Ultimate Workstation GPU, the 6000 ADA, benchmarked in multiple content creation applications. The results really do speak for themselves, but in case you've been cheeky and skipped right to the end of this video, we measured an average speed difference of 76% versus NVIDIA's other premium workstation GPU, the A6000, across the six different tests. That's pretty incredible considering both GPUs exist in the same space and are targeted at the same workflows. Of course, as mentioned, the new 6000 ADA does command a price premium right now, 
but there is supported pricing available for qualifying customers. So if you're considering a 6000 ADA in your 3XS system graphics workstation, do make sure to contact the Scan Pro Graphics team before placing an order using the links in the description below. And as always, if you found the information in this video useful, please hit the like button and let us know what you think of the new 6000 ADA and what you'd like us to test next in the comments section.